Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and what we're going to do or start right now is we're going to start with the basics of Python programming such as variables, uh, basically the uh, integers, strings, math operators, comparison operators, boolean values and so on and so on. Some of the basic stuff that you need to know before you actually start coding real programs. Of course, you will need to be familiar with the variables themselves. You need to know what integer is. You need to know what string is. You need to know how to do simple calculator uh, operations such as additioning, multiplication, division, exponent, and so on and so on. We're going to take a look at all of that in this lecture right here. Or basically, we're going to take a look at the math operators in this lecture. Uh, and later on, we will see more about the variables themselves. So... First of all, open up your idle, which I already have opened right here. You can enlarge it if you want to. I have this print statement from the previous lecture. Let me just go right here. Okay, I will just reopen it. So we have a new and a clean version open. So idle 64 bit, here it is. Okay, I will enlarge this and we can see that we have a simple three line or three arrows right here indicating that we're going to type a command right here. So first of all, uh, you can take a look at the idle as a big calculator. So for example, if you just type here two, it will print two. But if you type two plus two, it will print four. So it basically performs a simple addition uh, with the specified numbers, of course, that can be any other number, such as 2 plus 4 is 6. You can also try to, the, to subtract the numbers, so 2 minus 3 will be minus 1. And we can see that the Python interpreter already knows all of this basic stuff. So therefore, we can conclude that the division, that the, pardon me, that the actual uh, addition and the actual subtraction, as we can see right here, is performed same as in the real world. So we can set a variable and set that variable to equal to be equal to 2 plus 2. And then that variable will have a value of 4. But there are some different things that we also need to consider in the math operators. So we saw the addition and the subtraction. The multiplication is done with the star right here. So if you just type 2 times 5, you can see it will print out 10. So the multiplication is actually used with this star sign right here. Now, the two star signs, what the two star signs will do is basically that is a, that is so called an exponent. So if you just type here a three on third, we will get a result of 27. But in order to, for Python to understand what a three on third uh, degree means, Basically, we need to type something like this, so 3, and then add two star signs, and then 3 right here. What this will do is it will perform 3 times 3 times 3, which will give us 27. So, basically, if you just type here uh, 3 times times 4, which will perform 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So, it will times 3 4 times, and we will get 81. So... That is the exponent. Now let us take a look at the division, since that is also something important. There are different types of divisions, uh, basically based on the actual variable uh, types, such as the float and integer. The integer variable type will be the entire number. So, for example, if 3 is an integer, but 3 times 0, or pardon me, 3.0, is a float value, because we have the actual digit behind the actual uh, dot. So it is a decimal number. It is not an entire whole number. The, so once again, the integer is the whole number. The float value is not. So let us see what we can actually, how we can actually get both the integer and both the float value out of a simple division. So if you just type right here, 22, and you divide it by seven right here, you can see we get uh, this number right here, which strangely looks something like i, but okay. Uh, it starts the same, so 3.14, which I didn't even want that to be, but here it is. Something funny happened. And this, you can consider this to be an actual decimal number. So it, this is not an integer, this is rather a float value. Now, right here, in order to get an uh, integer value, of course, you will need to divide the number with the with the actual 
dividable number, so 20 uh, divided by 5 is 4. Now you can see we still get 4.0. Uh, that is because you're using a single slash right here. So the single slash will always give you whether the number is whole, or like this 4 right here, or whether it is not, like this 3.14 right here. It will always give you a decimal number as a result. So, if you even type 1 div divided by 1, so 1 divided by 1, you will get 1.0 as a result. In order to get an actual integer value without any decimal behind it, you can just use double slash, so 1, and then double slash, and then 1. And you can see this will only print 1, so make sure to remember that the 1 slash will give you a decimal value, while as the 2 slashes will give you an integer value. So it will not only give you an integer value once you uh, perform the division of the actual dividable numbers, if you, for example, go with the same number right here, which is 22 divided by 7, you will get 3 as a result. Whoops, I used 22 divided with a single slash, so we need to use double slash with 7. You can see it will circle the number to the, larger, to the closest uh, whole number, which will be 3. Of course, if the result was something like 3.6, it will circle it to be 4. So let me just try it right here. If you just go with 7, okay, so 25 with 7, okay. So if you just now divide 25 and then two slashes with 7, okay, so it will always, oh yeah, it will actually always circle it to the lower number. It doesn't work like in math. So for example, if you had 27 divided by 7, you can see that the 27 divided by 7 is 3.85, which if you actually encountered in math, you would circle it to the whole number, which is the closest, which would be 4. But Python 3 will always uh, circle it to the lower number, which in our case will be 3. So if you just use 27 and the two slashes 7, you can see we still get 3 as an answer. Now, another thing that we need to take a look at in Python 3 is the module, which is the remaining of the actual division. Now, the module is referred to in Python 3 with the percentage sign, so this sign is referred to as a module in Python 3. And what this module will do is it will perform a simple division. So, for example, if you just use 22, or let me just divide it normally, so 22 divided by 8, you can see the result of 22 divided by 8 is 2.75, which means the 8 goes in 22 2.75 times. But what this will do is it will see, what the module will do is it will see uh, how many times does 8 go in the 22, and we can simply perform it in our mind. We know that 8 goes in 22 2 times, which will give 16, and the remaining will be 6. So 16 plus 6 equals to 22. So what module, so 22 module 6, or pardon me, 8, will give 6 as a result. Because 22 equals 2 times uh, 8 plus 6. So that is the basic understanding of the actual math operators. Those are all that there are. Now we're going to look at different operators later on, such as the comparison operators, the smaller, the larger number, and so on and so on. But for now on, this will be enough. One more thing that you need to know is which of these actually comes first. Now also something to take a look at is the actual uh, privileges of these different math operators. So we know that in, pi, that in math, the actual division has more privileges than the actual subtraction and addition. But in, but in Python 3, the actual biggest privileges have the brackets. So for example, as in math, if you specify open and close bracket, you can see right here, I already tried something, and you type, for example, 5 plus 5, and times it with 2, the result by math right here should be 20, since 5 plus 5 is something that we do first, which is 10, and then we times it with 2, which is 20. And if you just press here enter, the result in Python 3 will be the same, so we know that the actual uh, brackets have the, the biggest privileges in Python 3 as well. But right after the brackets, if you, for example, wanted to perform something that didn't have brackets, 
the privilege comparison would be something like this. The biggest privileges would have the exponent, which is these two stars right here. Then after the exponent goes the actual multiplication. After the multiplication goes the division with a single slash. We know that division with a single slash will give us a decimal value. After the division with a single slash comes the division with two slashes, which will give us the integer value, whether that number is div dividable by that actual number or not. Right after the double slashes go the actual uh, module, all these percentage sign, and right after it goes the plus and minus, which is the last privilege math operators in Python, as well as in math as well. So that is something also that you should take a look at. So for example, let us give it a try. Let us try to divide and also multiply uh, and also multiply numbers at the same time. So if you go two times two, and then slash two, or let's do slash actually uh, three. Let me just check out right here. Uh, or let's do two. Okay. So we know that in math, for example, this would be equal to uh, or not in math, in Python 3, we know now that this will be equal to actually first executing the multiplication and then the division. So this should be equal to 2 if you press here enter. And it is. Now this is not looked at as the 2 times and then 1, since 2 divided by 2 is 1. This has the most privilege. This star sign has the most privilege, or the multiplication sign has most privilege. So let us try in reverse, so 2 slash 2 times 2, you can see the result is the same, so the order of the signs don't really matter. So that is all I wanted to show, uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we will continue coding and we will continue learning in the next tutorial. Hope I see you there, and take care, bye!